The U.S. aid chief, Samantha Power, is in Ethiopia, where she says her priorities are to push Addis Ababa and the Tigray People's Liberation Front for a ceasefire. Power also wants the two sides to open humanitarian corridors in Tigray. Her visit comes amid concerns that aid is not reaching hundreds of thousands of people affected by the clashes. Earlier, Power visited Sudan's Amrakuba refugee camp, where thousands of Ethiopians have settled after fleeing the conflict. Fighting between the government forces and the former TPLF ruling party in Tigray began last November. Let's now cross over to Gurum Chala in Addis Ababa for the very latest on the Tigray conflict. Gurum, welcome to Africa Live. Welcome to the program. So the U.S. aid administrator is visiting Ethiopia. What's the latest? What are her immediate concerns, Gurum? Samantha Power, U.S. Uh, aid administrator, after her visit in Sudan, is now in Addis Ababa is already engaging Ethiopian officials. We have heard, uh, including Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, other uh, Ethiopian official, uh, officials are expected uh, to brief Samantha Power, and she's also expected to uh, visit uh, places where uh, she thinks uh, are important in order to unlock the humanitarian hiccup that is happening uh, at the moment in the Tigray regional state. As you might understand, uh, she's been in the region, especially in Sudan, starting from Saturday, um, and uh, was visiting refugee camps where Tigray uh, refugees who played the conflict in the north are uh, at, uh, at the moment. Uh, Samantha, by the way, uh, is in Ethiopia. In order to help uh, find a way of getting humanitarian access to the Tigray regional state, as the UN repeatedly complained, uh, humanitarian access, uh, road openings and others are still a problem. Hundreds of trucks are still stuck in border area. So uh, she's expected to meet uh, lots of officials. And by the end of uh, her, her meeting, uh, she's going to brief uh, the media as well. All right, Groom, let's talk about that a little more. The United Nations and, and now the USAID are pushing, as you mentioned, for access for humanitarian services. What are the Ethiopian authorities expected to say from your perspective? Ethiopian authorities uh, time and again have said that uh, they will be uh, working in collaboration with the UN and other aid, aid agencies in order to provide aid for the most vulnerable in the Tigray regional state. Uh, by the way, uh, in her visit, Samantha Power is also demanding uh, the uh, ceasefire to be implemented by both the government and uh, the TPLA force in the north. And she also wants the withdrawal of the TPLA force from Afar and uh, uh, Amhara regional state in the Amhara ports to also be withdrawn uh, from western Tigray as well as the, Tig the Eritrean ports to be withdrawn. So she is expected to engage Ethiopian authorities in, regard, in this regard and we have heard that Ethiopian authorities are also welcoming some of her requests including the ceasefire saying that uh, at the end of the day it is us, the Ethiopian government, uh, which uh, waged the uh, humanitarian ceasefire in the beginning and it is TPLF which, is, which did not respect it. The PLF force are also blaming the government of uh, hindering humanitarian access and uh, escalating the already uh, bad situation in the north. So Ethiopian authorities have promised that they will be working in collaboration with uh, Samantha Power with the fact that they are saying that some of the demands, like, for instance, opening humanitarian corridor from the, uh, the Sudan border side is unacceptable. Ethiopia's sovereignty should also be respected by the United States, despite the fact that the request of humanitarian uh, uh, corridors opening is a legitimate request and Ethiopia is ready to assist. All right, Guru Chala, excellent reporting. Thanks for keeping a close eye on that story. Many thanks.